Hey. What's going on there, Jackwhackers? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Happy Tuesday. I had the itch for some uh, little mountain Utah. We haven't been on this map in a while. I just felt like uh, some Utahian. Some Utahian farming. Is that what you would call it? Utanian? Utah? Utahvian. I don't know what you would call that, but we're in Utah. What's up, Miss Fireslane? Uh, Jason Schisler, Adam Small, Chris Smith, Kevin Wilson, Sam, Allen, Josh Bear. Pleasant View was first in the chat. What? How'd you do that? Yeah, What's baby. What's up, Mr. Vanderford? Yeah. How's it going, brother? Ronnie Gold, Christopher Pratt, Mac Morrison says hello. We got Elizabeth Sturdy. Says hello, Frosty in chat. How did your daughter get on with her game? Did her team win? No. But she did awesome. She did great. She She's actually a captain. She didn't even tell me she's a st stinking captain. Her and her uh, best friend were captains of the team. So she got to start. That was pretty cool. But the team they went up against was, uh, let's just say, they were very talented. <laughs> and they looked like they should have been JV players. My daughter's only 10 years old. It's like a, they call it a B team. It's like the team before JV that is just kind of, you're learning. Like, this is their first year playing. And the team they went against looked like they've been playing a lot longer. They were all bigger, taller, stronger. So it was it was mismatched, but they didn't give up. They played hard. It, it was still fun to watch. And she did great when it was her turn to serve. I think she got three points in a row on her serves, so she did awesome. I'm super proud of her. But yeah, they, they got their butts kicked. She's not watching. She's probably almost asleep, so. But yeah, it was fun though. It was a four o'clock game, so we watched her game and then we watched JV's game for a little bit and still got home around like 6.30. So I had <clears throat> plenty of time to stream tonight so here we are uh what's up watchdog busy as usual david's keeping us busy with marching band oh yeah school time school's here busyness is uh not gonna go away anytime soon huh but i uh, welcome everybody glad everybody had a good day hopefully most of you did look at that orange tractor look at that the old day 21 that's right i got my nascar shirt on i don't even really like nascar that much but I just wanted to make sure we had a fresh pair of clothes on for the night. So we got a case hat, NASCAR t-shirt, some old man tennis shoes it looks like. Not Velcro, so not like too old. But definitely got some old man vibes going on those tennis shoes I'm wearing. But yeah, we just caught some grass, eh? It's not bad. So we got uh, multiple chores. We're just going to chill out. Nothing too crazy on this map as far as, like, what I'm doing compared to what we've been doing lately. Uh, no productions. This is just going to be some good old, I'd say, 80s, 90s style farming uh, with the type of equipment we have. We do have some nice modern equipment mixed in. But, uh, as always, I like to have my old school stuff. So, there you go. I don't know if I have a pocket hose on me or not. Yes, I do. Never leave home without your pocket hose. <laughs> What's up, BP Productions? Hello. We got Budman81. Mia Latsarin. Hello. Drew Rogers says, we are called Utahns. I'm from Utah, says Drew Rogers. Utahns. All right. Well, I'm a Utahn tonight. How's that sound? Hit that like button. Get the show started. Get some likes up on the board there. Let's see. We got 102 viewers already. Let's see if we can get 102 likes within the next 10 minutes. Not that I care, but I figured I'd throw that out there. All right, here we go. So we're going to cut some grass. We're going to hire someone to tether. Who in here looks like a good tetherer? Uh, I bet Raging Skull would do all right. We'll let him uh, rock the forts in there. So we'll get him hired. Yep, looks just like Raging Skull. Except his skull's not raging out of his hat. All right, there you go. So he'll take care of that. He's gonna flip over the uh, grass to dry and turn into hay. We're gonna head over here and grab the uh, the old international farm all. 
And we'll do some raking. Got the nice old school Vermeer rake on the back end here. Yeah, let's do it, eh? There's never a shortage of hay on this map. There's grass fields everywhere, and we own like three of them, so take advantage of it. We are playing seasons. So uh, we got to take advantage of the grass, cut it when it's available to cut. What's up, Waylon Timlick, Matt Lane, Ian W, Matthew Gelmez, hello. Thank you to the gifted memberships as Wolfshade. Who gave you a gifted membership? You must have got that yesterday. Can't remember who sent that. We had gifted subs from Duan Baker. And I think that was the only gifted sub yesterday. So you may have gotten that like last week, Wolfshade. I don't know when you received that, buddy. But congratulations. Got the uh, five months anniversary. Says I like every minute of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, farm needs more green in the shade of John Deere. Uh, I think we do have a John Deere on this farm. It's over at the other uh, farmyard. Yeah, it's it's there. Yeah, we'll let Rage and Skull take care of the uh, Tetteran. I'm on the job, says, yes, you are. You're doing great. You're doing great. If the tractor stalls on you, just don't worry about it. You'll be fine. It'll be okay. If you're from Utah, make sure you're wearing your magic underwear. Eh? Is that a, U is that a Utahan thing, to have magical underwear? I'm not familiar with that. How's the only like on... You're the only like on there, Joshua? No, we got 75 likes. Wow, that jumped up real fast. Very nice. Appreciate that. All right, we'll try to stay out of his way. I usually do a decent job uh, raking, but this isn't going to be as pretty as usual. Oh, baby. Yeah, my daughter did uh, pretty awesome. Super proud of her. Did very well. She's a, she's a leader, I can already tell. She was cheering on her teammates even when they were struggling. She was high-fiving them and cheering them on, so it was fun to watch. She was, of course, bummed that they didn't win. I was like, you ain't going to win them all. You can't win them all, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Nice tractor. You like that, Ryan? Yeah, this is the old farm all. This is a nice tractor. Old school iron right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so we'll be doing this field. I think that might be it for grass work tonight once we're finished with this. Then we got a pretty large field that needs uh, mulched, cultivated. It's partially done. We'll be hitting that with some large machinery. Uh, that's the thing with this map. You got your little fields, and then there are some hefty ones. If anybody remembers, this is the map where we had the pivot system for uh, spraying liquid fertilizer. It's got... I think this map has three of those big, round fields. Yeah, see, we own these two big circular fields here. So we got that massive irrigation system, which already we've used it. It's already fertilized them. Um, let's see here. So yeah, we got to cultivate this big monster here. And then this one we're going to plow tonight. And we're also going to plow this field over here. Well, we might mulch it and then plow it. Yeah, we'll be doing some field work, stuff like that. Uh, that's awesome. Sounds like both of your kids are incredibly dedicated to their hobbies. Good stuff. Yeah, she loves the volleyball. And that came out of nowhere. Like, she never talked about it until the beginning of summer. Uh, and then just... She's hooked on it now. Uh, Mormon magic... Oh, Mormon magic underwear. I was like, what's he talking about? Uh, Josh L., thank you for the $1 super chat. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you, Josh. I uh, appreciate you, man. 
We also got Bradley Simmons with the $2 super chat. Thank you as well. Yeah, baby. And we got yeah. Auto Sim Crew with the two months anniversary. It says, loving this old school farming. Yeah. It's a different map, but still got the same vibes as the, uh, the old school American farming series. But different map. This is MRG mapping. The same uh, feller that brought you Ashton Corners. And he's currently working on a new map. I think it's called Spitzer, S-P-I-T-Z-E-R. And correct me if I'm wrong, is that Wisconsin? I should know, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think he's working on another Wisconsin map, I think. So, and it looks good. I've been keeping an eye on it. Yeah, I haven't been on this one in a while, so thought it was a good night for it. Good evening, Frosty and everyone. Hello, Troy and Watson. And thank you again, uh, Josh and Bradley. Appreciate you guys. Gene Edwards, hello. Hello, Mr. Beetle Vets. <clears throat> Quadruple A, how's it going, brother? Ryan Moretz says, nice tractor. Which one? The Fordson or the uh, Farmall? They're both kind of nice. I like the old Ford there. I'm trying out a new tractor tonight. Well, not new. It's old. Uh, for plowing. I'm going to see what you guys think. It's something I've never used before. So we'll see what you guys think of that when we get it up and running. Yeah, this would be a pretty laid back stream. Go grab your drink and your chicken biscuit crackers and just relax, all right? Uh, Pleasant View. How's the, uh, how's the cow barn coming, huh? huh? Is there an ETA? Is there an ETA? I'd love to uh, get it built on Farmer Billy's farmyard sometime this week if you think it'll be ready. Farmer Billy wants to get into the cow business. All right, there we go. Hey, Frosty. Thanks for the help in Discord today. You're welcome. I don't know if it helped you. Did it help you out at all? Were you able to uh, clean up some storage on your PC? Is it orange or green? It's green, but not the green you're thinking. It's a different green. It's a different green. It starts with an O. And it's one I've never used. I've heard some people have talked bad about it, but I tested it out, did a headland around a field, and it seemed fine to me. So I'll see what you guys think about it once we get to it later. All right, we got two farm alls on the farm. This is an uh, enclosed cab. Little different setup than the other one. It's that old school farming, you know? I love it. All right. Baylor running at the Vermeer. And we're making hay bales. And all these bales, eh, we'll probably store them here at the... Uh, Excuse me. Probably store them here at this farm. We got two different farms. I know it's been a while. It's been like uh, over a month since we did this series. Maybe longer. So some of you might already forgot what all was on this map. <laughs> but we got two cow pastures. We got the little one right here. And then we got a bigger one down the street that uh, has a lot more cows. Helps if we turn it on. There we go. I'll bet that duck had something to do with the pool chair. Uh-oh, something happened to Kevin Flores' pool. Oh, Frosty got an Oliver. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's an Oliver. It's an interesting one, though. I don't, I don't know. 
We'll see. We'll see what you think. Uh, let me see. Hello, Fozzy. How's Fozzy doing today, brother? Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I'm pretty happy. Went to my daughter's uh, volleyball game today, and it was, you know, it was first time ever watching her play volleyball on a team. So it was, uh, it was exciting for me anyways to watch. Even though they didn't win, it was still a lot of fun to watch. Let's kind of clean up this edge here. Nice looking field, eh? It's little. I also noticed this Vermeer, it picks up when you're in reverse, too. Some balers don't do that, but this one does, and I like that. So when you're backing up to readjust, it's picking it up for you so you don't have to go over it. It's pretty fancy. I like that. Is this the map, the one with all free roaming cap? No, I don't have that one anymore. That's, that's, yeah, I deleted that profile. Yeah, we don't have that one anymore, Elizabeth. I think you're, what the heck was that? That was Hannah. Hannah, Indiana. I deleted that. I just... Um, too big. The fields were ginormous. This is a nice map. Nothing against the map. Is this? I, I'm more. I like the small to medium sized fields. That map had some monsters on it. <laughs> uh, field A. I thought this was Field B. Don't know. Field A. Field B. What are you talking about? Uh, doing great, man. Started up some farm sim today, and when I looked at the time, I had sat with it. For almost four hours it does time flies when you play farm sim i'm guilty of it i know exactly what you mean uh i'm day i i am a day is good but how's your day for my day is good ryan thanks for stopping in sir mouse m hello hello was able to clean some unwanted stuff on my pc but came to the conclusion it was the map oh you think it was the map okay well there you go that's something you're going to have to get used to, Nathan, when you're playing farm sim. If you're going to use a bunch of mods, uh, you're going to have to get used to troubleshooting. Because it's going to happen quite a lot. So, And if you're like me and you're playing on a ton of different maps and always changing, you'll have even more problems. <laughs> it's easy if you find a map you, you love and you just stick to it. But not, I, I can't even say that either, because look at what happened on uh, the White Farm series. <laughs> uh, five streams in a row, and then I ended up breaking it. So I had to rebuild it all. All right, see, these are about 1,390-pound bales. You got the converted uh, units mod. So that's actually 9,000 liters of hay with the American wrap going around it. Did a live and was only playing in two hours, but it didn't go as planned. It happens. It happens. I'm stuck on the PA map still. Yes, you are. There's nothing wrong with that. You love it. That's how I feel about uh, the White Farm series lately. Like, I just love it. But I had to get myself away from it so I don't get too too crazy on it because then I'll burn myself out on it. So that's why I switched it up tonight and came over here to Utah. There's a bunch of wrap bales we did on episode two of this series. We got We got plenty of feed. Feeding the cows is not going to be an issue. Plus, uh, I don't know if you guys remember on episode two, we filled up that ag bag that was sitting out in the yard. We loaded that sucker up good with uh, corn silage. So that's going to give us all kinds of silage. Which is 
about a nice. Alright, Rage and Skull did sort of good. He almost got it done. A couple pieces we gotta go over, but other than that, he did alright. I'll give him a I'll give him a A minus. A minus. Let's go uh, clean up the couple patches he missed. Been playing since FS17. Never had that problem before, and I troubleshoot for almost five hours. Oh man! So you you already familiar with it then? How's Dwayne Baker doing today? What's up, Dwayne? Hello, Frosty and everyone. I hope you all had a great day. Thank you, William Roadell. You answered me. That's awesome and cool. Uh, am I dreaming? It's all green. The field is. <laughs> yeah, there's not... Actually, there's not a whole lot of John Deere on this uh, this map. I, ha I haven't put a lot of John Deere equipment. I think we only have one John Deere tractor. There's actually... Uh, more international and case equipment than anything. We got two farm alls. And then we got a big old case Steiger that we'll be using to uh, to uh, mulch, mulch the one big field with. But everything else is kind of old equipment. I mean, this is old as dirt. Oh, what do we got hiding in the garage there? John Deere uh, mower. A couple balers in there. Manure spreader. This is our little smaller cow stall there. We're going to feed them straight hay, I think. I don't think I'm going to give them TMR at all. Uh, we have an Agco tractor there with a the front loader. And then, of course, the uh, D21 sitting back here. And then we got a bunch of other tractors over at the uh, bigger farmyard. Mm -hmm. Just a quick little rinse, eh? Very nice. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, cows are doing good. Oop, this gate should be closed. Did not know that was open. Yeah, I've been just feeding them straight, straight hay. Uh, they do have manure that fills up over here. And to feed these guys, we can either feed the trough over there, or we can just bring a bale and shove it in this tire feeder here. It's a nice little farm build. Yep. I've been loving the JD4320. It's surprisingly powerful. But a nice. So if it ain't red, keep it in the shed. What's up, Polecat704? Uh, who else we got up in here? Uh, Max says, did they calm down the feeding on the Enhanced Animals mod? They didn't seem to eat so much so quick. I don't know. I noticed that too. Was there an update to it recently? I, I can't keep up with all the updates anymore. I fired up Euro Truck Simulator today. And I have it set to auto update. I went back into the properties in Steam and I reset it, I reset it back to 1.47 because I just didn't feel like downloading all the uh, pro mod stuff again. <laughs> I was like, I ain't go, I ain't doing all that. So I backpedaled to uh, 1.47, which is not a big deal. 1.47 worked pretty darn good actually. So. I feel like there's no need for me to update Euro Truck until they finally add another map DLC extension. Otherwise, it's just little silly stuff. So just a waste of time, you know? Alright, we'll clean up the rest of this field, get it all nice rows. I've been to Regelsburg at the moment, kind of want to check out White Farm as well. I love White Farm. Love it. I've been loving the JD. What you talking about, Scooty? All the green. What do, what do you mean by that? 
All the green grass, that's the only thing green around us at the moment. Everything else is red. Red and yellow. Like I said, this ain't gonna be perfect, but good enough. Have you had any issue using NVIDIA drivers? That's been the biggest pain in my rear for flight sim. Nope, I just update. Anytime NVIDIA has a driver update, I jump on it and just do it. But I don't play flight sim as much as you do. So usually when I fire up flight sim, it's been like months since I played it and there's tons of updates anyway, so I don't even really, yeah, you know what I mean? Where in the world is the map supposed to be? Looks European at that at first glance. This one? You think this looks European? What you talking about, Ian? This is far from European. <laughs> yeah, this is Utah. You must be talking to someone else. You're talking about Fozzie's. Uh, yeah, that's probably European map. German. Sounds like a German map. I'm on the light farm right now, feeding my animals and taking care of my new field, says Wolfshade. Come out and get her done. Even in Frosting Chat, hello, Ryan. All right, a couple more rows. We'll be good to uh, finish bailing and slam bam, thank you, man. Almost caught it all. Ugh. Not looking too hot, is it? Final swipe. I generally thought it looked European with all that green. Utah is mostly desert. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, this must be in the uh, more flourishing areas. Yeah, it's got that American vibe to me anyway, looking at it. But uh, here's the uh, PDA. The satellite imagery. And that's an actual real satellite image of an area in Utah, I believe. And uh, MRG kind of recreated it as a farm. But I think that's a real place. All this stuff through here. But yeah, it's a lot of nice. All right, we're all done raking. Let's go uh, park this up. Let's see how many bales we can get out of this little field here. What map is this? Little Mountain, Utah by MRG Mapping. And the way to get this map is to go to fsmakers.com. That's MRG's website, fsmakers.com. And you'll find the link there for Little Mountain, Utah. All right, we'll do the magical wash. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of the... Uh, the grass field work uh, storage area for all our tools and stuff. Very nice. All right. That tent thing going again. Beautiful. Go get some sleep, Fozzie. Thanks for uh, stopping in as always, buddy. Crop circles from aliens, yeah. The round fields, they're actually pretty cool. Different. You don't see many round fields, at least not in my neck of the woods. Uh 
Boom. Sounds like a bourbon FS maker. <laughs> it does. That's awesome. The uh, topography of the map looks like Moab area. Yeah, is I see. I don't know. I don't keep up on all the MRGs. And his search, the way he makes his maps, like I don't know all the details, but is Little Mountain a real place? I don't even know. Anybody uh, bored and want to look that up, if Little Mountain is a real place in Utah? I have a feeling it is, but I don't know if it's just something he named it up, and, like made it up, or if it's based off a real farm area. I don't know. It is, says Huntley. Well, what? Huntley, what? All right, so he looked it up. It's a real place, I guess. Cool. Kind of nice. I, f I figured it was. I think he usually tries to do uh, realistic areas and stuff. Good evening, Jeremy Bashaw. Is Stevie in the house? Where's St there he is. What's up, Stevenson? <clears throat> How's Stevie feeling today? You still been uh, putting some miles in on ATS? I know last week he put in a few loads. But I think he might have got bored already. He he probably got excited for Oklahoma and then quickly was disappointed. Because I don't think I've seen any more loads come in from Stevie. Come on, baby. Getting a good amount of bales out of this field quite pleased we'll grab the uh, GMC uh, it's got a auto trailer we'll just kind of run around the field and get them all picked up and out of the way easy cleanup you got bored I figured Whew. Oklahoma's rough isn't it Ugh. Uh, how'd you like the pictures of the cow raising I got going? I like it. I told you to share that. Share that stuff in the uh, picture section. Then everybody can see it, Solar. Don't just share it with me. You gotta share it with everyone. Because then everybody's gonna be like, what's he talking about? Yeah, post it in the Discord. The Discord's free for everybody to use. Uh, it's a nice place to keep in touch post things that everybody's interested in or maybe you're not interested in but you're still allowed to post it if you want all right we got like 84 percent bail in here so couldn't get one more out of there but total we got 10 bales out of this field i'm very happy with that at 9,000 liters that's 90,000 liters of hay in this uh not very big field so it had a good yield not too shabby That is it for grass work. It's parked up next to the other one. Lovely. All right, cool. So all that's cleaned up. Let's run over and get the uh, pickup truck. Do I have a four-wheeler in here? No. But I do have the Mustang. The old Mustang's in there. Carson says, the flag. Hmm? You can hike there, says Huntley. Oh, in Little Mountain, Utah. It's a place to go hiking, huh? Run this over to the other farmyard and grab the pickup truck.
right. Things kind of slow. There we go. Oh well, what happened, Mia? You said, oh well, what happened? Everything all right? Utah, it's in the description. Oh, it is. <laughs> the, dis the, the title actually says what the map is. That's okay. Some people hop into the chat and they don't really... Uh, sometimes you don't even read... I, I'm guilty of that. I'll go into someone's stream and I won't read the uh, title. I'll just hop in. But yeah, sometimes the, the description and title tells you everything. It's all good, though. Grab the old pickup trip. I guess I wouldn't call it old. It's actually a pretty good newer newer pickup. Alright. So there's one of the John Deere tractors we have. I think that's the only John Deere we have on this farm. Uh 4440. And then everything else is a different brand. But yeah, this is the much larger cow stall, which we've fully equipped with tons of hay bales over there. It's kind of dark. It's like five o'clock in the game. I uh, might as well show you that plow. All right, you ready? Here's the other green machine we got tonight. What do you, what do you think of this thing? Honest opinions. It's an old uh, Oliver. And it's 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 a uh, it's a different looking, huh? It's a little different. So we can uh, plow some fields, I suppose. <laughs> we got it hooked up to a John Deere plow here. Seems to get the job done, though. Interior is pretty, yeah, you know, simple. Uh, that Oliver, you like that? What map are you on, Frosty? Your video editing skills are top notch. I swear this video looks like a live stream. I tell you what, I'm I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better. I'm about to build a cow stall on my farm. Hardest part is finding a place and making it look good. That is the hardest part. You're absolutely right. Making it look good. <laughs> Easier said than done. Let's get some uh, GPS going here. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. What do you think? What do you think of that? Definitely uh, different. Where'd you get the net wrap that looks like the fly? A flag? Oh, it's uh, bale, bale textures. It's on the mod hub for PC only. I think that's what it's called. But, uh, is that what it's called? Bale textures? Could be wrong. All right, let's do one more lap up and down this way, so we have room to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little below now. It's not a case. Nope. Very observant. You are very, very observant. That is not a case. It's nowhere near a case. I would say punch, punch, but that's too much. I would say. I'm so confused who's talking about what. I'm doing good, Matthew Alter, and no, I'll answer your next question before you even type it. I'm not playing American Truck Simulator tomorrow. That's his daily question chat. Says when you go play some American Truck Simulator, Frosty. Not tomorrow. <laughs> What's up, Joe Boyer? You're still live. It's storming here in Edisto. Yeah, I, I had a big storm on the way to the volleyball game uh, earlier today. I could barely see driving to the game. It was bad. Lightning was striking all around us. I was waiting at a red light. And a uh, big old bolt of lightning, like right, it looked like it happened maybe 50 yards away. And all the traffic lights just went out right when I was making my turn. 
which was good because otherwise it was a super busy intersection. So I got out of there in time. But yeah, it was nasty. And then it's all, it was nice and sunny. So it must just be blowing down your way. It's past my area. Is the map on cons console? Yes. No! <sighs> What's up, Grayson Hart Zog? What's up, daddy? <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to do it. He, he did it anyway, chat. He put it in there anyway. He's like, dang it, he answered my question right before I typed it all out. I'm going to send it anyway. <laughs> I don't blame you. I would send it to you. <laughs> yep, that's his daily question. I don't think we need lights. Yeah, it looks nice. You saw the post I did in Discord about that? I did see that, yes. Yes. I'm glad it didn't hit anything, uh, anybody or anybody's car or anything. It kind of fell in the right place. That storm hit us around 5.30. Yeah, it hit us around 3.30. So it blew your way. It's long gone from me. And it should be nowhere near Edisto. Unless there's another one coming through. Yeah, I heard some uh, people talk some trash in Discord. Not my Discord, but... They were talking trash on this uh, this tracker. I think it looks pretty good and runs fine. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't know what I don't know what there is to say bad about it. I've seen a lot worse mods. I think it looks pretty good. I had to look it up and see if it was a real tracker because I ain't never seen one of these. But it's real. This is a real model of a Oliver whatever it's called. Not the prettiest looking tractor in the world, but you know what? Something different. You'd use it, Mac? Here's the cool thing. Look at this. So it's set up. And uh, one second. It's set up in three different versions. <laughs> so you got the 1970 Oliver. And then you got the 1970 Minneapolis Moline which is in red. So, I don't know. There's like all kinds. And then you got the 1970 yellow Minneapolis. And I think there was another one. I just didn't download the other one. But there's like four different ones. Uh, I just, I like the green one. Like the Oliver. Couldn't tell you where I got it. It's been a while since I, uh, downloaded it so couldn't tell you where I got it from <laughs> what's up Ted Springer Ted Springer's in the high house tonight uh, very soon Texas I just needed to take a, a one night break from it I had the itch for some uh Little Mountain, Utah. Haven't been on this uh, series in a while. So just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Hello, Tony Martig. What time is it here, Huntley? It is a quarter after 9 p.m. Quarter after 9 p.m. What's up, Indy? How's Indy doing? Scott J, what's up, bro? I was getting ready to say if you paint it yellow, it's a mini app. There you go. There you go. I'll try to figure out where I found it and I'll post it in the Discord if you if you really, really wanna try it out. I work on a horse farm in uh, Morris something, Illinois. There's a big heart block in the rest of your word. I don't like that. Morris, Illinois. There you go. Yeah, the heart on my uh, on my screen like blocks some of the chat. I don't, it's so huge. I need to fix that. I need to get rid of it. <clears throat> uh. 
I might be late for a while. My PC that I usually watch you on power supply. Ooh, the power supply blew. Yuck. Not good. Yeah, I highly encourage anybody that's thinking about, like, getting a fancy graphics card. Before you invest in a fancy, powerful graphics card, make sure your PC has a power supply that can handle it. Otherwise, you might have some issues that are not good. And we all know that PC gaming is expensive to begin with, so... Yeah. Just a, just a cautious warning. Caution. Isaiah Lewis, I see ha, I say ha. So it's cause why not? Coming in with the 20 bomb, thank you buddy. How you doing today, Mr. Lewis? How's the golf game, huh? Any tournaments lately? We got a pro golfer in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lewis, professional golfer. I meant to ask you, have you tried? I know I always ask you about Tiger, not uh, PGA Tour 23, but have you tried that other one? What's the other golf game that's popular right now? It's called PGA Tour The Masters 2023 or something. It's not the EA Sports one. I think it's separate. It's from a different developer, maybe? I, I don't even know. Maybe it is EA. No, it is EA Sports. But it's like, it feels completely different. Did you get that, Mr. Lewis? Have you tried that one? I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I tried it, and I wasn't too pleased. It looked good. Graphics were pretty, pretty fancy, but couldn't get the hang of it. Could not get the hang of it. All right, what's going on here? <clears throat> Thank you for the 20 bomb, brother. Did your daughter win her game? No, they did not win, but they did have fun. And that's all I care about. Now, they went up against some... Uh, they looked like they should have been JV players, the team they went up against. They didn't look like uh, middle school kids at all. I tried the one on console. I hate it, in my opinion, though. Maybe people might like it, says Ghost. I will soon be golfing for my high school. Nice. I, d I did the same thing, Solar. I, I played uh, high school golf. Love it. Love golf. Used to be somewhat good at it, but... After going to Top Golf uh, a few weeks ago, it's been a while. I had, I had a couple good ones. That was about it. Out of the many, many I hit, only a couple were good shots. <laughs> PGA Tour is 2K. Yeah, yeah I just wasn't sure what the title of it was. I'm not here. Someone made me mad. Oh, get over it, Mia. Get over it. You know better than that. If someone made you mad, just ignore them. And don't let it get to you. I rolled both my fields on the Iowa Plains View map. I don't roll fields. I use... Uh, Re uh, seedbed reconsolidation mod where you don't have to roll your fields because rolling this is what I think are rolling fields on farm sim can't stand it it's too boring I just do not enjoy the rolling I don't like the texture I don't like anything about it although I do like rolling a mulched field that's kind of satisfying but any other rolling, like, ugh. Nope. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm against rolling fields. I'm against it. <clears throat> Mr. Lewis with another 20 bomb says, Oops, I forgot a heart. Always gotta have three. So back-to-back -back 20 bombs from Isaiah Lewis. You little stinker. Stop it. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. What do you say about golf? Uh, I don't have my computer anymore, so I haven't been gaming any lately, but I watch a couple guys who stream it. They both look great. I know uh, Simulation Station, the one that stops in here occasionally to say hello. He streamed it once or twice. That new golf game. And like I said, it looks all right. I just... Uh, 
There's something about it that just, I don't know. I think it was the controls or something I was having trouble with. Didn't feel like the old EA golf games. The cutscenes were beautiful, though. The cutscenes were really nice. Alright, can we get something organized going here? I'm a hot mess on this field. You like rolling special tomato plants? Oh boy. I got precision farming. I have to roll. Eh, you don't. I have precision farming too. You don't have to have that. Just got to get that seedbed reconsolidation mod. And then it deletes the, uh, the need to roll the fields. Although I don't know if that's on console. That I'm not sure of. I feel like we're running out of daylight here. Cutscenes are better than SCS. They are. They're they're actually really good. The golf ones are. You got some breakfast? What you having for breakfast, Mr. Beetlebets? Golf may have been good to me this weekend. Oh yeah. Get some nice some nice pets in there. Golfing can get you a scholarship and some money if I play it. Well yeah. Of course it will. Are you any good at it, Solar? <laughs> you gotta be good at it to get a scholarship. But good luck to you, man. One of my uh, best friends growing up, he uh, tried to go pro-am. Well, he did. He played pro-am for a year, and he got so stressed out, he gave it up altogether. He's like this, like, I love golf, but now I don't love it. After a year of competitive play and having to do it for money, like, he was stressed out. So he uh, got out of it, and now he's a realtor and a golf instructor part-time. So he's living the dream. He's happy. But yeah, he got to the point where he didn't enjoy golfing anymore. That's anything in life. Competitive can sometimes ruin a passion you have for something once it becomes competitive, you know? Or once the money depends on your success, that can cause a lot of stress. I used to golf with my grandpa. Nice. I did, Logan. You're having eggs on toast. Come on. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Hey, Frosty. Ding dong. YouTube never lets me know when you go live. Glenn, I'm telling you, Daddy, you need to hit the bell. There's a little notification bell. And I don't know if you watch me on. It doesn't matter what you watch me on. Whatever you're watching me on, save if you're on phone, for instance, a cell phone or whatever. <clears throat> Go into the settings of your phone and scroll down till you find the YouTube app and then make sure notifications are on. That way your darn phone is literally going to tell you. It's going to go ba ding and you're going to see a little message and it's going to say I went live. That's if you're like a hardcore supporter. Like if you really, really love watching my show. <clears throat> I'd hire someone to do this, but the AI worker thinks that this grass field is part of this field, so I got I don't want them to plow that field. <clears throat> so that's why. Oh, I do not feel like plowing this whole thing either. <laughs> Hang on. use a bigger plow huh maybe maybe we can upgrade get something bigger <clears throat> got enough money to flip this plow sell it and buy a wider one with a bigger work width
It does. It does, Ian. There's no way I could golf full-time. Way too stressful. Most weeks you're just hoping to make enough to pay your expenses that way. Oh, yeah. And that's what kind of happened to him. Like, he was doing good. He was averaging, like, under par for the season. And it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And as an amateur, the payouts aren't... I mean, they're good, but... If you're not, like, winning, winning regularly... It's, it's a little tough to uh, make ends meet. But he gave it a shot. He got to uh, do something a lot of guys that golf never get to, which is compete even at an amateur level is pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's get rid of this thing. It's nice. Very nice plow. But I, I need something to get this job done a little bit quicker because the sun's going down on us. <laughs> Frosty actually has to work on if I know, Tony. I have to. I, the, I just, I have to? I do need something a little wider. So this is what we had. 4.8 meters. That goes up to 9 meters. I don't have enough horsepower. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Uh, this will get the job done fairly fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 4, 10, 10.1. We'll buy that. Only problem is, I don't know if Oliver can pull this thing. We'll find out. Oliver only has 200 horsepower. So this might be a little too tall of an order for Oliver to handle. We'll see. Sometimes it doesn't matter. It'll say it needs this much, and it'll still pull it anyways. So it'll just do more damage to the vehicle. But that's fine. All right, pull it, baby. Yeah. See? It says it needed 300-something horsepower. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Doing just fine. Pro sports overrated because of the money? It is. Hey, is the map of Big Flat, Texas? No. Is this? No. This is uh, Little Mountain, Utah. I don't know. Happy Gilmore made some good money coming in last. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's that's good stuff. That's how you get the job done quick. I should have had this one to begin with. Big old John Deere. <clears throat> Wait till you see the big field I got a uh, mulch. <laughs> it's way bigger than this. Uh, wow, Frosty, 155 likes in the one hour. I know, it's not bad. 208 watching as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Do appreciate that. And thank you, Isaiah Lewis, for the back-to-back -back bombs there. Much appreciation, sir. Thank you for uh, the support, as always, buddy. <clears throat> Gene Edwards celebrating four months anniversary. Thank you, Gene Edwards. And we got Alan... Has been a member for a half a year. He's got the hen. The beautiful hen. He's graduated from a broken egg to a baby chick to a hen. Very nice. Thank you so much, Alan. I work on a golf course as Texas. Do you? Nice. I worked on one golf course. I did a lot of golfing growing up, and then I worked on one. It was like a par three course. I did all the uh, all the weed eating and the landscaping areas, and there was like this big creek that went through the course, and I, it was big. It was long. It took me like all day to weed eat it, get all the weeds out, so it's nice and easy to everybody to find their balls. Uh, yeah, I wasn't the didn't enjoy that job much. I'd love to be like a greenskeeper. Like in the nice mowers, the fancy equipment. But I was the weed whacker guy. Yeah. Sweatpants, sweatshirt, out in the hot sun, weed eating all day. 
Yeah, fun times. I've been playing this game all day. Adam, you better take a rest. Got to give that butt a rest. Go for a walk and then come back and play some more. Come on. What'd Mia say? Mia, are you... Are you? Okay, she's laughing again. Good. Wait, Frosty. Tony, you working right now? You should probably get back to work instead of making fun of me, right? Probably got to get back to work. I think it's time to clock back in. Lunch break's over. You can come back and make fun of me later, huh? All right, final swipe. We would have been here a lot longer if we kept that other plow. This thing's uh, knocking it out nice and fast. We do have another field to plow, but I ain't doing it right now. We'll get to that maybe later. Got this one out of the way. It's August. We're not going to be planting anything tonight. Once we get the other field mulched, we'll be fast forwarding time, actually. All right, that looks pretty good. Nice, fresh soil there. Oh, yeah. Too shabby. All right, let's go pick up those bales we bailed at the beginning of the show. not working i'm here to make fun of you and your straggly nose i i trimmed my nose hairs a couple days ago it's been quite nice i haven't had any issues less itching give it a week or two they'll be back but yeah freshly nose trimmed and i'm good to go so there doug boyer also coming in with a 20 dollar super chat says good evening frosty and chat i love this map mostly because i live in utah <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Doug, for the 20 bomb. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's a pretty map. This is only episode three. I think I think when this map came out, so did Court Farms. And you all know I got pretty hooked on Court Farms by uh, Oxygen David, so that was taken away from this. I was trying to like mix mix the two in, plus the survival farm. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been a while since we've been back on here. What? Should have ten bales on here. Eight. And ten. Better nice. 90,000 liters of hay. All right, transport position. And I'm going to store all these hay bales right back yonder here. I think I can make them fit in there. Got reverse lights. There we go. Ugh. All right, what are these silage bales? That hay or silage? Oh, that's dry alfalfa. Dang. So we got alfalfa bales, hay bales, which alfalfa is the same as the hay bales, straw, and then we got all those wrapped bales sitting outside there. So plenty of feed for the cows. I'm going to drop those right there. Or can I... There we go. Lots of bales in there, eh? Reset auto load. Bada bing, bada boom. 
All right, so bailing is done. Just good. Kind of sick of it. <laughs> I love bailing, but been doing a lot of it lately. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next thing here. We'll also check if we have any slurry. Good evening, Darren Rigby. How are you? Says Frosty, have you ever tried the grass care roller? I heard it's better for hay and grass. I've, I've used it in the past. I don't, I don't. There's all, like every map I'm on, it seems like there's a surplus of grass always. So there's like, I just kind of skip some of that grassland stuff that makes it more yield and all that. Like, I, you, you don't even need it, you know? <clears throat> but yes, I know what you're talking about, brother. Is Big Texas flat map any good? Never used it, Adam. You'd have to ask someone in the chat. My wife trimmed my butt hairs, says Orville Ward. What are you talking about? Ain't nobody want to know that. And I just announced it to everybody for you. But nobody wants to know that. Frosty, my PC got fried from a power outage. I'm sorry. It sucks. That really does suck. All right, what are we doing next? Um... Bales galore. <laughs> that, that does suck. Ugh. I'd be so sad. Um, we're topped off with cows at the west lot. Starter lot is the one right behind us. It's pretty much full. Um, I don't know. See, I don't know where slurry is. <sighs> Forget where you even get the slurry on this map. Or maybe you can't get slurry. I don't know. That's one thing I wasn't sure about. Is if there's even a pickup for slurry on Little Mountain. On this specific cow pasture. I know we got manure. But maybe, maybe it doesn't produce slurry. Yeah, we're manure spreading hillbillies. Let's check something here. <laughs> I'm here. Too much information. That sucks about you. Yeah, it does. It does suck. Should be a bucket attachment somewhere. What's that? Maybe that's it. Just need something to scoop up manure. That looks like a manure scooper, eh? Should work. Watch out. Let's scoop this crap up. I got an idea. All right, we're gonna back the manure trailer up along the fence line there. This should work pretty good. You have to get that pump and big spreader you had last night, says Doug Barber. But I don't even see a trigger point for slurry on this this farm here. Yeah, oh, it's at the big dairy. Yeah, that's what I meant. I, I meant this farm specific. This one little one here, I think only gives you manure. Solid manure. But I think we can get slurry down the road at the other one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to park this right here. And I should be able to just pull over and 
dump over the fence there right into the trailer. Not like that. Try this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. Not much manure, but there'll be a lot more there when we uh, fast forward to the next month. Then I'll have enough crap to cover my grass field. Scoop that up. What do you think of that? Ranchers do that all the time. Do they really? Anyone see the story about cows breaking in a new house in Montana? Glad it wasn't my house. I wouldn't like that either. Get the pump. Can't get that map on PS5. Nope. I like that ad coat, me too. It is nice. I've had this for a long time. It sounds good. It's got nice sound. It's nice and clean in the inside. Very sharp. Very sharp ride. Ooh. Sounds good. Oh. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we gotta go get a big... I'm sorry, we got a big field that needs mulched. So prepare to uh, just kind of chill out. Chat away in the chat. Ask me questions. Whatever you want to do. Because we got a big field to go back and forth on for probably a good 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, hey, Frosty was talking about a show last night. Never heard of it. Any info on it might be interested. Hey, Frosty was talking about a show last night. Never heard of it. Oh, uh, American Farmer, I think, is the name of the show. It actually, I don't know if it ever continued. My wife and I just finished, finished it today. It was like nine episodes, season one. And it was recorded in 2019, and there's nothing else on it. There's nothing else about it on Hulu. So I don't know if they just never made any more episodes or if it got switched to a different platform. I don't know. But it's gone. And uh, it was good. I liked it. It was like four different families in different parts of the world. Uh, well, not world, but Tennessee, Virginia, Texas, and Alaska. So, it was good. I enjoyed it. All right, so this is this is the big uh, the big boy tractor I was talking about. Quite large, big old Steiger. We got it hooked up to the famous Landall, one of my favorite implements on farm sim, modded one anyway. It mulches and cultivates at the same time. I love it. Such a cool tool. Right. All right. Definitely going to get some uh, straight lines going here. All right. And we're just going to be chilling out for a little bit till we finish this field. I, I got a head start on it. Because it is going to take a while. So sit back and enjoy. Just going to kind of chill out on this. 
Uh, like I said, I wish they would come out with a Rambo Last Blood farm map. What? Hey, Frosty. Just letting chat know that the warehouse is available on the mod hub for Xbox One. Oh, come on down, baby. I like to hear that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> doing your favorite Sugar Beets field on Neverland map. Oh, is that what you're doing, Brandon? You're the second person that's mentioned the Neverland map. I think... Brian Pilzinski, were you the other one that's using Neverland? I swear there's a couple of you that use that. Good evening, Frosty. How you doing? I'm doing good, Jim Petty. Get that old plow back and we can go for 20 minutes, says <laughs> Mac. Yeah. Who likes the old Steiger, though? Well, not old. It's, it's a newer vehicle compared to the other tractors on the farm, but... Pretty sweet looking, huh? Lights all over the place. Air conditioner, or no, is that an AC? No, that's the GPS. <laughs> and we could hire a worker to do this, but this is one of the only things that's left to do before we fast forward time, so. Might as well do it ourselves, huh? What was for dinner? Uh, Chick-fil-A. Because we were in a hurry. We had to pick the, my son up from school and go straight to the volleyball game. Well, we went and got food and then went straight to the volley, volleyball game. <clears throat> You like that, Brian? I thought it was you. I, I thought that was you that was talking about that. You're using No Man's Land? No Man's Land is excellent map for, uh, like, creating, using your own imagination, building your own farm. It's very nice for that. You're going bye-bye, Mia? Have a good one. Probably got school tomorrow. Sleep well. <clears throat> big Flat Texas is an okay map. No productions, just sell points and big fields. That's what this is. There's not... Or this is like a farming map. If you don't like just farming, then you probably won't like this map. This is for just people that enjoy farming. Like some maps are heavy with the productions. And some don't have any. MRG's more of a let's just farm which I do like maps like this. This this field's pushing me. I'm usually not this type of field guy. This is massive. <laughs> this is uh, very large. But uh, every once in a while, I do like doing the big scale farming. I personally extremely love Ohio Richlands. Yeah, I'm on 14 episodes of uh, Ohio Richlands. I was eyeing that up the other day. I was like, I should, I should do that again. Working on Bucks County. That's another one I haven't tried. You guys mentioned it a lot when it first came out. I've never tried it. I'm ready to fast forward time. It's getting dark on us, huh? What is the best best map to play on? Y you asked that yesterday. I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's opinion. There's like 500 maps out there. That's all. Uh, it's all what you're looking for. I don't know. That's totally up to you, sir. Me, personally, I don't think I have a favorite map. I've got multiple favorite maps. That's why you see me play on a, a large variety of maps. The cows are glitchy on Bucks County for you. Wonder if it is for other people.
yeah, it's definitely personal preference. Like, if I want to go, like, if I get in the mood for some Polish farming, I go to Polzinski. Or, I just said Polinski. Palawa. <laughs> I just... I just said Brian's last name. I go to the Palzinski map. No, Palawa is like my one of my favorite Polish maps. And then uh, American maps. I don't like. I said there's there's uh, the White Farm series, which we've been doing heavily. Ohio Richlands, Ashton Corners, Little Mountain, Utah. There's there's too many of them. There's lots of them. Uh, European, uh, the car. Carpathian countryside, um, Bally Spring, Irish farming. If I want an Irish style farm, I go to Bally Spring, uh, Cork Farms, United Kingdom, um, German farms. I, there's tons of them. That's why I got like 20 different series. Uh, you were liking the Polish map? I do love the Polish map. You're making me want to play that soon by mentioning it. That's a very fun map. Small, old-school Polish tractors and equipment. <clears throat> Things just a cruising, huh? Nice and smooth. I can barely feel any of the bumps in this thing. It's like a Cadillac. Smooth operator. Would be nice if it was about twice the width on the uh, the mulcher. <laughs> so this is mulching and cultivating. So you can start seeding. If you don't have a direct drill, you could drill after using this tool. One of my favorites. might get away with hiring a worker. There's enough room to turn around. That way I could go plow the other field. I don't know if it's going to let me, though. Sometimes it doesn't let you do a field. Um... Yeah, I noticed there's something weird with this. Uh, I don't know if it's the tractor or what. Yeah, something, something up with it. Doesn't seem to want to hire a worker, which is fine. We'll just have, like I said, we'll have to do it ourselves. <laughs> this music is the 007 theme song with some strings thrown in. <laughs> have you ever tried Stevie's remake of West Bridge Hills map? No, I haven't. But I've done the Elm Creek edit. We've done a couple episodes of that in the past. And I was going to try out one of his other ones. I have it set up. I just never have started it. And I don't know if I will. I don't know. I don't know. forget which one it was. It's nice. I like it. He's got custom crops and some custom productions on his maps. I think the roughest map is that one, the farm countryside, where the dirt roads are so bumpy. Oh, the, uh, uh, 
the old farm. Yeah, what the heck's that map called? I like it. That's a very fun map. Uh, it's by Black Sheep Modding. The old farm. The the country. I don't know what it's called. It's good. It's on the mod hub. Very good map. But yeah, those roads are uh, treacherous. The side roads are real bumpy. The Valley, the Old Farm. That's it. The Valley, the Old Farm. Very good map. Highly recommend it. Have a good one, Grayson. You have to try Balkan Road Dairy Farming. I don't have to. <laughs> but I have seen that on the mod hub. Yes, sir. Whew. Wish I could hire a worker. This field's too big for me, guys. <laughs> Twiddling my fingers. I'm ready to do a different chore. This field's too big. I can't even hire a worker to finish it. We're getting there, though. What are we getting there? It is, John. It is. Grayson, you only got 11 corn kernels. My goodness. That's not even enough to get stuck in your teeth. Be right back. All right, Kevin. Take your time. Take your time. Do we all remember to do the little... Tap a Rooney on the like button, says Joe Coleman. Uh, I think so. Everybody's doing a pretty darn good job, and I appreciate that. Doing all right. <clears throat> oh, that is a massive field. How many acres is this thing? Ooh, 37 acres. Hi, Columba. Yeah, that's 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 way too big for me. I'm like a I'm like a five to ten acre field guy on farms. <laughs> this is this is quite large. I think what I'll do is prep this field, harvest it one time to take advantage of. You know, the work and time put into it, and then sell the whole field. Is it a big daddy? Too bad we can't redeem the kernels for a present. Can you still get Lone Oak on here? No. That's that's FS19. No, Duane, I ain't gonna, you know how much, uh, no way. I almost got this thing almost finished. I'm definitely not selling it. I'm gonna plant something in it, not tonight. I'll probably have something planted on it off stream, but someday this will be a massive harvest and then I'll sell it. Scott N was replacing the old bearings and races on my trailer till my son came out to tell me you were on. You have a very good son, Jason Culbertson. Tell your son I said thank you. Yeah, baby! You can make yeah. it about three or four different fields. Break out the landscaping. That's true. That's true. You know what? You're, you're actually right. It's not too late to do that. You're absolutely right. I could turn this into, like, three fields and sell... The one that's way over down the road by all those uh, silos out in the distance. I could sell that field and then just turn this into a bunch of different ones. Because <laughs> this is this is big. It's quite large. Good idea, Johnny. That, that might be what we do. Sort of, Tony. I'm using uh, GPS steering. 
Otherwise, it would not be nice and fancy looking like it is. <laughs> it would be a little messy. But thank you. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> when was the last time you done a whole field by... Oh, please. It's been a while. I almost harvested a whole cotton field last night, but I did hire a worker on both fields because I was multitasking. I was multitasking. It's my excuse. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking. So this field way over here, might as well sell it. There's nothing in it. It's already harvested. So I could sell that for 132 grand. That's nine acres. See, that's more of my style right there, about nine acres. Yes. Okay. So we sold that, and this will eventually be turned into... Uh, I could actually... I could make this like an L-shaped field here and then maybe split this into two big big mamas so it'd be like three yeah yeah that'd be nice divide those round fields like a pizza pie <laughs> yeah I have a different crop in each piece that would be very dumb it'd be funny though that'd be very funny have a, a variety field <laughs> That's funny. Potatoes, beets, cotton, soybean. Just have a, have every crop in the game in in the big piece of pie. The FS22 crop pie, we could call it. So that field over there uh, from the Reese, the last episode of this series. Remember, we brought in all that silage with the forager and put it in the big ag bag. Well, I left a big middle section. So that'll be uh, regular corn to harvest in a couple months, in-game months. Because we got so much silage. We got more than enough to uh, last a long time. What's up, Jeremiah Marpo? Oh, Edward Detweiler. What's going on, Daddy? They shut the main part of town down today for the fair. Going to get crazy this week. Ooh, baby. It's fair time. Yeah, I forget when the fair comes to my area. We went last year. I was ugh. I'd rather stay home. Ugh. It's hot out, nasty. There's too many people around. It's like rubbing up against people while you're trying to get somewhere. Blech. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather relax at home. <laughs> We're getting there. Pepperoni mushroom. I'm making myself. Oh, yeah. Pizza pie or apple pie? Pizza pie. I'd rather have pizza than uh, apple pie. What's up, John Williams? I would love to see a center irrigation field mod on here. I have a bunch of round alfalfa fields. I have, I have it, Ian. We used it last time. Yeah, we got the round irrigation pivot. It's a mod on the mod hub. We, we had it rolling last episode, I think. We uh, fertilized that big round field over there with liquid fertilizer. Yeah. That's the only time I've ever used that mod is on this map, specifically because it has round fields. The only other map I know of that has round fields is, I think it's called Elk Mountain. Is that the name of that one map? It's been out forever. Uh, Elk Mountain Farm or Elk Farm, something. That's got a few round fields on it. To show the pigs and cows. Nice. Only reason I would go to a fair is if it had 
a demolition derby and some good elephant ears. That's about the only reason I want to go. <laughs> Turn it into a big grass field? Nah. We need, we need some crops. We got tons of grass fields already on this map. What do you think, chat? I was in and out the last couple streams. Oh, oh, well, this is old, Ian. This was, it's been over a month or two since I was on uh, Little Mountain, Utah. Yeah. So you'd have to go watch or, you know, scan through episode two and you'll see where I was setting it up and we got it working. I had to cut a bunch of trees down because the irrigation thing was longer than the field. So I kept running into some of these trees around. So I had to get the chainsaw out and do some lumberjacking in Utah. <laughs> I need to invest into a skid steer. I have to hand shovel my cow's crap. Ugh. That's no fun. You're a mower derby driver? Nice. Yeah, um, Alien Jim's, uh, gosh, I can never remember the name of his other map. What's that other map he has, guys? Ah, uh, crap. So he's got No Man's Land, and then he's got the other one. I can never remember the name of it, and that does have gold, where you can, uh, mine gold? I don't know. I've never tried it. But it was a pretty uh, popular map when it came out. An elephant ear is the best. Oh, I love an elephant ear. And when there's no elephant ear around, I'll get the other one. What's the... Uh, it's like a cluster of dough with the powdered sugar on it. It's like all pretzely looking, but it's dough. What do they call that? Those are good, too. But I prefer... The elephant here. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Western Wilds. Thank you, Ryan. That's it. Western Wilds map. Never tried it, but I believe it's kind of like No Man's Land where you can build your own stuff, but there is some built... Yeah, Funnel Cake. That's it. Uh, it's like No Man's Land, but it comes with a lot more areas that have buildings already. No Man's Land's pretty bare. It comes with like a field with a little shed and a silo, and then you got like a little store area to sell stuff. Other than that, that it's a bear map where you do everything yourself. Western Wilds has a little more stuff to use from what I remember when I looked at it. Deep fried stick of butter of my purchase is Kindle Yoder. <laughs> Ooh, deep fried Oreos. Oh. Yes, Wolfshade, Hellbent, 1983. Yes, Western Wilds. Elephant ears are fried dough topped with cinnamon and sugar. It's delicious. I think if I was on death row and I had to pick my last meal, I think an elephant ear might be part of that meal. A nice, hot, fresh elephant ear. Maybe a couple of them. But yeah, the funnel cakes are my second go-to if, like, the elephant ears run out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I told you this was going to take a minute, chat. <laughs> this, this is not a small field at all. But hey, at least we mixed it up and made some stripes, you know? That's fun. Kind of break up the uh, field into pieces. Deep fried honey buns. Ooh. 
Frosty, I'm proud of you for taking the time to do this field. I know big fields aren't, they're not. I'm like really wanting to be done with this field. But uh, you know what? We're going to get her done. <laughs> probably going to take it a little, eh, probably what, another 10 minutes? <laughs> I thought you was talking about the plant that is the same name. I don't know, Ted Springer. I don't know. Last meal equals fair corn dog and an elephant ear for dessert. There you go. The new Frontier map is good, but buggy. I keep freezing in the in-game menu. Needs an update. You got all caps on, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. But uh, I was easily able to read that. I didn't have to squint. I keep hearing about the Frontier map. I think it looks a little odd, but uh, I think the only way I will even give Frontier Map a chance is if Scooty, if Scooty Pooty lets me in on that garbage truck and picking up trash. That sounds fun. <laughs> I don't care about the farming on that map. I, I want to pick up some trash bags and put them in a garbage truck. So if there's any way to make that happen, I might give uh, <laughs> I might give that map a shot. We'll see. But as of now, that's it's not on my radar. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Probably about five to six swipes left here. We're getting there. A whole loaf of brisket. Whew. I thought you were talking about the plant name elephant ears. Oh, the plant name? No, the fair food. What? Which cinnamon rolls? The ones that are in the the round, the round metal case, like in the refrigerated section that you pop it open and oh, I love those kind. Drizzle the icing on there, right out of the oven. Ooh, yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Is it is it, was it not fun, Scooty? <laughs> That's like one of the simulators I've always wanted. Is a good, a good legit garbage simulator game. Garbage truck. Like I'm talking the whole spiel. Like, like a nice detailed landfill where you gotta go to certain areas to dump certain stuff. Like a nice garbage truck simulator. Would that not be fun or what? I think it'd be fun. I've always wanted uh, a good game like that, but there's not one out there, sadly. You could, uh, you could work your way up, have the little garbage truck, have to get out, throw the bag in yourself, and then, you know, upgrade. Get the truck with the automatic arm to pick up cans. Have different styles and brands. Ah, that'd be fun. I'd, I'd play the crap out of that. Thirty-seven acres. Holy crap. So, mulched and cultivated. The Canadian equivalent of elephant ears are beaver tails. I remember that. Beaver tails. Someone mentioned that a long time ago. The first time I ever heard it. A Canadian beaver tail. I was like, what in the world is that? But, uh, apparently it's the equivalent of an elephant ear. So, if you ever hear someone saying they had a Canadian beaver tail, <laughs> they had an elephant ear. keep talking someone will still well it's just an idea i'd never be able to make a garbage truck simulator game i'm sure the i well people have tried there's some really crappy ones on steam they're they're bad but nobody's mastered it yet junkyard sim yeah that game kind of sucks though that's what i mean i want a good like a good legit garbage simulator <laughs> Yeah, Garbage Man on GTA. Actually, uh, Ian Oppenheim. 
and anybody else that does like GTA 5, like, uh, what are those, 5M servers? There's a 5M server. It's the only one I use when I'm like super bored or want to play something random. It's called Transport Tycoon Server. And it's no killing people and all that blah blah. It's just straight up simulation stuff. You can be a pilot, you can be a train conductor, garbage man, firefighter, farmer. The farming's horrible on there. But you can do all kinds of jobs. It's a job tycoon server. Super laid back too. Like nobody bothers you. You're uh nobody can hurt you on it. Like you have like safe mode. It's just for en relaxing and driving. You can be a FedEx driver, UPS delivery driver. Um, but the garbage truck one's pretty cool. It is fun. You like have to stop, get out, pick up the bags, throw them in. Once the truck's filled, <clears throat> you can't finish your route. You have to go empty, get back to your route to finish it to get paid. <clears throat> pretty cool. Transport Tycoon for uh, GTA 5 5M servers. What's up, Chase Church? Uh, Frost, do you ever talk to Raya or Poto anymore? Ah, Raya. I've been playing Call of Duty with him and Coop and a bunch of other guys. Been getting my Call of Duty feels in lately. But yeah, Poto, like I said, he kind of wrote me off because I fixed my friendships with uh, Rye and Coop. So, you know, that's life. It sucks, but what are you going to do? I'm not going to be treated like a child, so he kind of threw our friendship away, sadly. I see Rockstar bought 5M now, Frosty. Rockstar bought 5... Oh, did they? Really? So 5M... Is that a good thing, or is that a very bad thing? I haven't heard... I, that's the first I've heard of that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing that they own 5M? I'm sorry, Jacob Nunkster. Jacob. We got Jacob coming in with a gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership. Going to Taylor Jennings. We also got a gifted membership coming from Kyle Walters. Going to Kendall Yoda. I've asked this before, Kendall Yoder. Are you are you part Amish? Please tell me you are. I just I feel like anybody with Yoder as a last name has to have a little Amish in them. Please say you do. <laughs> you think they partnered? It's mixed. Could get rid of the huge desync problem. You think it's a good thing? All right. So some people think it's a good thing. Yeah, that's the first I've heard anybody say that 5M is partnered with them. Interesting. Not know that. I do remember that 5M server you streamed at once on Facebook, I think. I definitely... Yeah, I, I think the one I did... I think I did one or two streams of that. Remi yeah, that was a long time ago. That was like late night show. Um, I remember I did the parking meter job. So you have like a little Toyota Prius on GTA 5, and it looks just like a parking meter car. It's got radars on it, and you literally drive into parking lots on the GTA 5 map, and it scans any parked car to check if they've got parking uh, passes. And you, that's that's for that specific job. That's all you do. You just drive around the whole map as long as you want. If you get bored of it, you stop doing it, but you just check all the parking lots. <laughs> want to switch over to a garbage truck you pick up all the trash you can be a truck driver on that uh, server and you can buy different trucks different trailers haul different cargo you can do forestry or logging um, recycling sand you do all kinds of stuff it's pretty darn cool how uh, how they built that 5m server <clears throat> I agree, Jeremiah Marple. Fried dough's pretty good. They bought, it, they bought it last week. It's probably bad. More microtransactions. Well, 
if they charge if they charge people to play on a 5m server then yeah it's gonna it's gonna go down the hill super fast i hope that i hope they don't do that the whole reason 5m was made was to enjoy the game free because of all the payware on gta 5 so yeah if they turn it into a pay thing then you're gonna see a lot of people stop playing it Three here on the tube did two plane streams in the park. Yeah, the, the the parking one, I think I did some garbage truck too. And then the pilot one, I did a whole stream of it where we just flew airplanes, delivered cargo. You can deliver cargo or passengers. That was fun. Two more swipes, Jap. Look at that. One swipe down, one swipe back, and 37 acres will be done. How the heck long did this take? When did I start on this field? <laughs> Whew. I took a minute or two, eh? Nice. All right. Home stretch, though. I don't think there is any Amish-style maps. I'd play on it in a heartbeat. That sounds awesome. But I don't think there is. Kendall Yoder says, yep, second generation removed. Nice. I had a feeling, Mr. Yoda. The Yoders, and what's the other huge uh, famous last name for Amish? There's the Yoders. Ugh. I used to deliver a lot of loads down near uh, Sugar Creek, Ohio, when I lived in Ohio. Dover... Sugar Creek was hardcore Amish area. And I know there's the Yoders, and there was another last name that was super big around there. Very cool, interesting lifestyle. What's up, Jay? I'm ready to be a moderator. Nope, not happening. Four hours later, says Abraham, that's what it feels like. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Google Street View Sim, that'd be cool. Uh, oh, Google Streets. Oh, I see what you mean. Being a driver and having to go uh, explore all the roads and record, the, that would take screenshots and stuff. That'd be cool. Oh my goodness. Well, this tractor's brand new. Bottom right corner says 0.8 hours. That's real time. So we've almost got one hour on this tractor. That means... Whew. This almost took an hour to do, chat. <laughs> Gosh. Hostetler. Millers. Millers. Yeah, Millers is a big one. Yep. Millers, Hostetlers. Yeah. Millers is what I was thinking. Yep. Big uh, name there. Why do pilots report how many souls are on board rather than people on board? Oh, jo oh, Johnny, your little jokes, your little jokes, I tell you. Um, Flores, yeah, there's a lot of Amish Flores out there. <sighs> oh, this field kind of sucked, huh? So here's what I'm going to do. Once we finish this swipe... We're going to turn this into three different fields. We're going to go into uh, construction mode and build some. We're going to do a little building. Not building. Yeah. We're going to put some dividers in so the uh, hired workers will be able to tell the difference between the sections. Oof. Man, this field's big. Chase! Oh, thank you, Carter. Tell Carter I said thank you. Uh, near me in PA, the Stulzfus. That's a hard one to say. The Stulzfus. Frosty, I sprayed on my field since you've been in this field <laughs> on uh, the white farm. Yeah, that. I, yeah, you could easily get that done, huh? There you go. Hallelujah. 
All done. Yeah, right next door is the cornfield I was talking about. Got uh, more than half of that done. We're leaving the rest to fully grow. That took forever, man. All right. Ohio is only second to Pennsylvania for Amish communities. Yeah, that's heavy out there. Heavy out there. You done with that field yet? Finally. We got Greg Zeman coming in with his first ever super chat. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Coming in with the $2 first ever super chat. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for the support to the show. Uh, John says, I've edited a whole YouTube video in half and half exported since you started this field. I get her done. All right, so with that done, we can do a little landscaping now. this up for the night all done with big boy Steiger tractor did a good job though thing was a smooth ride smooth ride take it easy I ran out of parking spots Glover killed a bale with this tractor huh moving it out of the way. Nice. <clears throat> That's my other big boy. It's quite the doozy there. All right, so let's turn this into something. Turn it into something, because it's way too big. All right, landscaping, painting. We're going to go with some grass. This is just to divide the field. So I want to make it like a big L shape here. I just jack that up. Ugh, I hate painting. Can't stand painting. Never can make straight lines, ever. That is not straight. There we go. All right, so there's the first uh, section. That'll be one big field there. And then this, whew, man, that's a doozy, huh? Holy crap. That's too big. I don't want all that. <laughs> that's too big, guys. That is too big. I missed a super chat. What did I miss? Ah, missed Kevin Flores, you silly little man. I forgot. Uh, we missed Kevin Flores with the 20 bomb. I apologize. He says, what's drier? A Popeye's biscuit or a mouthful of sand? I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a Popeye's biscuit. So I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Mine's the, uh, what's the one that's like round with the, it's holed out in the middle. It's got coconut and chocolate drizzled on it. Kind of chewy. What are those ones called? That's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite one. Uh, what else? I'm having Chicken Express for dinner. Any calories burned today? Not much. Not much. I didn't get much activity today. How far did you have to drive for the meet? Forty, about forty-five minute drive. It was a good, it was a good hike. Plus, it was storming real bad and rainy and poopy. And uh, does he have custom grass? Yeah, nice. 
That's what I like about MRG. You don't mess around. So the grass matches stuff. Right, now we're just going to kind of run right up here again. Straight. Sort of. hmm. So hard to... find the quicker I do it the better ah, there we go <laughs> and I'll, I'll eventually put some paths in or something to divide it uh, aren't all cookies round or moist now oh well, yeah <laughs> sort of uh, caramel delight is that what it yeah that's my favorite ones oh those are so good those are really good I'm sorry I missed that super chat Kevin thank you so much for the 20 bomb how did I miss that I must be deaf, because I get, like, these little sound alerts from uh, the software I use, and sometimes I don't hear it. Maybe because I don't shut up. I talk too much, and I, I talk over the sound of it. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Uh, oh, my gosh. Gutter brains. Bye. Be safe. Good night. Owen McGuire. Good night. Never had a mouthful of sand either on purpose. <laughs> the cow manure bunker fill up way faster than the pigs. What, on the white farm? Did you put your own uh, manure pit in? Because are you talking slurry? All right, I got to think here for a minute. You know what that means. I got to think. I got to think. Um, reads. Trying to kind of make it look like MRG. The way he has his going over here with the little clusters of bushes and stuff, you know. All right, so that's our first divider. We already have a way to get into this field. Now, to get into the second field, we're probably going to... I don't know. I'll worry about that later. All right, so there's first section. Um, whew, man. Put another section through here. All right, that went pretty smooth. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think I'll leave it like that. I think I'll just kind of ignore that for now. But we'll have our two sections here to work with. What happened with my big trees? There they are. enough what do you think go get my pickup trap uh, let's see do some custom shapes just have fun says John McKinley oh, man. well I kind of did I did on this one it's like an L shape so that'll be like a dog leg left uh, par five. That's a par five. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of distance there. No, that could be a good par four. Drive, iron, putt, birdie. Yeah, yeah. And then a par three, and a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, I could. You're right. I could mess around with the the backfield, make some uh, 
Make something creative back here, huh? What do you think? What do you think? Make something creative? Johnny's just filled with all the good ideas tonight. I'm not used to that. I'm kidding. Uh, you missed a super chat. Thank you, Kevin. I'm sorry I, for, I missed it, buddy. Uh, hi, Frosty. Just seeing how you're doing and hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, Owen McGuire. Thank you for asking. What's up, Frosty? Greg Zeman. I'm doing good, and thank you again for that super chat, brother. Uh, Frosty, if you like peanut butter and chocolate cookies, you'll have to try Benton's peanut butter fudge cookies at Aldi's. Maybe I already have. <laughs> That's a par eight. You are a funny farmer. Most farmers want clear land and as much dirt to plant and work. And then there's Frosty, chopping good dirt up to make it smaller. That's right. I got to make room for my old equipment. Those fe that field was too big. It's too treacherous. All right, so we're going to go with the round edge here. And this one's going to be a little more custom-shaped. Oh, gave me an idea. Yeah, I am <laughs> I am clearing out some land right now. Oh shout. But like I said, it's too darn big, man. Let's see. One more field out of this, I guess. And we'll drive around it when we're done. <laughs> uh, what in the heck are you doing? You'll see. You'll see. It'll be a work of art when we're done. Right now, it looks like we're... Uh, coloring on Minecraft, but it'll look better here in a little bit. Gotta trust me. Gotta trust me. Have I ever let you down on my decorating? Don't answer that. <laughs> right on the edge of the map, too. <laughs> if MRG popped in, he'd be like, what the heck you doing to my map, boy? Don't watch. Look the other way. All right. Mm, little hard on the eyes for me. So much green. Go. Ah, uh, like a boss Ross painting. Anyone else see the issue here? Frosty won't be able to hire a worker for this field. 
Yes, it will. I, I should. I left enough gaps. Course play should be able to do it for me, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> it can detect custom fields. So actually, we should be just fine. I'll be able to do my normal slacking and just hire a worker and they'll do it for me. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm almost done painting. Ah, crap. I stopped there. I should know the answer to this by now, but if I accidentally paint some grass on top of the actual field, won't the plow plow it in? Or is that grass always going to be stuck there? I should know that, shouldn't I? Oh, I should know the answer to that, but I forgot. All right. Did I do the island? Yes, it will. Oh, hush, Kevin. You don't know what you're talking about. Elizabeth says, what? I didn't say your name. Uh, we're all wondering what the heck you're doing to that map. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you'll see. Mac Morrison, thank you for the gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership. And that is going to Nikki Vanson. Come on down. Nikki Vanson, you have won a 30-day membership to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Brought to you in part by Mac Morrison. Thank you, Mackie. All right, cool. Getting there. I'm getting there. Let's see, big trees up in there. Yeah, I'm getting my Bob Ross on, buddy. <laughs> it looks like a mess right now, but once you get down to ground level and you're working in the farm, this is going to look quite splendid. Divider there. I think we should have an outhouse sitting out here. What you think? Nice little outhouse? Because that's way far from the house. And I don't want to drive all the way back to the house. Though I reckon a nice pooper house would be quite nice right about there. Uh, now you need a way to get to them, says Ryan. I'm getting there. You just chill your pants down, boy. Just chill them pants down.
I don't think these uh, fences I can delete either. Forgot about that stinking fence. Turn right here. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get rid of that. That's interesting. So those are like hardcore fences there. You can't get rid of that. Dang it! I don't think I have whatchamacallit mod installed where you might be able to make that disappear, but so that sucks. But I know how to fix that too. a pair of wire cutters i know i don't have the object hider installed i gotta build a big manure bunker just to store manure well get on it the bathroom's usually behind the rear left tire uh thank you for the gifted membership says nikki from mac morrison trees expensive as crap i know i did spend some money i don't have my free trees mod how do i not have that installed wow i thought i always had that installed hmm. painting Good enough. Grass. Actually, that grass looks a little different, doesn't it? Maybe it's just because the time of year. Maybe it looks different once it grows more. I don't know. job done for me all right what do you think so entrance to that field I can kind of take in what I just did so that'll be a field right there with a wraparound island easy access to get to it drive down here and you got the field number three so no four we got four fields total one two three four and they're a little more manageable in my opinion for me anyway so there's the fourth field way in the back and it should show up like that on the map too <laughs> let's see what it looks like oh yeah look at that <laughs> Alright, nice. Oh crap. Don't break. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh! I'm about to slice everyone's nipples off right now and feed them to Kevin Flores. Just shove them right down his nostrils. Oh! Mother, son of a... Ugh. All right. Ah, breathe. Breathe, Frosty. Breathe. Everything's going to be all right. 
<laughs> I think we just lost all that progress. Every single, every single penny of it gone. Every single minute, every single second. I think that's all gone. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think we lost it all. That was your idea, John. Nah, that's nah, nah, my fault. Too much, too much at once. Too much at once without saving, I think. Ah, there you go. Other than that, it was going to be pretty cool. You got to admit, that was going to be pretty cool. It looked nice. Could you imagine that with, like, grown crops in it ready to harvest? That would have looked lovely. <laughs> but now it's all gone. Mm, 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 mm. I, knew, I knew it. The minute I couldn't click on something, I was like, you son of a... And then it just... Gone. <sighs> it, it didn't. I don't think it's going to be there, John. Eh, it might have. Did it auto? It might have auto saved. I can't remember. Well, I went into the menu, so it had to have auto saved. After doing all that and going into the menu, it had to auto save. I think we're safe. Mm. It all depends where the truck is. Okay, that was there. That was there. Mm, come on, baby. Don't let me down. I'm just kind of bracing myself. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness. It auto-saved chat. Oh, I was about to... Uh, Oh, I was about to rip every nipple off. I'm not even kidding. I was going to go get my nipple slicer out of the, the cupboard, and I was about to go nuts. I was about to find every nipple in town and slice them right off. Whew. <laughs> I did not want to do that. I wasn't going to do it again. I was going to just go find something else to do on the farm. <laughs> but uh, luckily, it's all there. Whew. I think it was just too much for the game to handle all at once to uh, show me. But it's there. And I bet you if we did it now, it'd be fine. Whew. So the, anyways, there it is. It is there. <laughs> it looks dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> so uh, we got this field, one, two, three, four. We turned that into four fields there. And uh, all of them are cultivated, mulched, and ready to have something planted in them. Very nice. Man, I'm so glad we didn't lose all that. So there you go. Whew. I thought I did, though. Uh, don't threaten me with a good time, says Jim. Uh, hard save quick. Let's go. Well, the auto save is a hard save. That's why we were able to come back in here. Uh, someone needs to cut that grass. No. That grass looks lovely. Oh, man. All right, that's good. Whew. It's getting sad. It's getting very sad. I think everything is done on the farm. I think we're ready to fast forward time, actually. I don't want to plant anything in all those fields because it's August. The only thing we can put in is canola, and I don't really need it. I don't want any canola. So if we fast forward, start getting the other stuff put into those fields. It's going to get this parked up out of the way. <sighs> I see your wood chip heating plant didn't say. That's fine. Oh, was my outhouse not sitting there? I didn't even notice that. Was the outhouse gone? Oh. Do I have to replace my outhouse? Wow. 
Why am I... Let's park this right here. All right, to run around in circles. Whew. See if my outhouse is still there. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Even got a roll of toilet paper sitting outside of it. A little rough. All right, cool. So that's all good to go. Let's fast forward time. See, this is the farm I was wondering if I have slurry. I don't think this has slurry either. This is like all manure set up. <clears throat> yeah, just manure. Got 2,000 liters, barely anything. So we're not going to even mess with that. We'll watch how big this manure pile gets as we fast forward time, though. All ready? We go. Going into the month of September. Scared me too. I'm kind of attached to my. Are you? We all got our adrenaline fix. Oh man! Oh yeah, that manure pile's growing slowly. Sixteen hundred on animal upkeep. Whew, look at all that property maintenance. We got rain coming in. the growing pile of crap. Alright. September. Beautiful morning. Let's let it get to about 10 a.m. Get that sun up in the sky. There we go. That'll work. Alright. So over uh, one month we've now got 10,000 liters of manure. Beautiful. And we probably got some hungry animals. They're probably still fine because they hold a crap load of food. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. Oh, yeah. Jeez. They barely uh, ate any food. So we'll get them fed. We'll get our other cows fed. And then our uh, horses ran out of straw. So we'll have to... Uh, get them taken care of. I think I need a straw shredder for the horses, I think. All right, we're at this farm, so we'll do this one first. Big old pile of poopy. It was there, says Pam. It was there. You win some, you lose some, but we won some, Elizabeth. You didn't lose all the progress, which is good. go dip into our big ag bag full of silage. Tons of silage. Ooh, I, I need to check the prices on my uh, stuff we have in the silo there. We stored... I forget what all we put in there. Uh, wheat. We got a lot of wheat. It is not in demand. It will be in January. We'll be able to sell a bunch. No chickens on this farm, so wheat's all profit. Other than that, that's pretty much all we have to sell. <laughs> Alrighty. What is that song in the background? All right, we're going to get 40% silage put in here. Oh, my gosh. It's going to take five years to use this. Already time for an upgrade. Yep. Mm. That ain't going to work. This is not going to work. All 
Alright, we need something that can handle a little more. A little more capacity. Thinking like a wheel loader. 10 p.m. here in Iowa and gotta get up early. Have a good night, Jason. Thank you so much for hanging out there, driver. Outhouse, it was there, Eric. A beautiful outhouse. Thank you, Sonny Scottford. Thank you. I am now the proud owner of a new Volvo front loader. Are you? I was thinking about that myself. Whew. We're going to have to lease. Whatever we get, we need to lease. Should I go Volvo? Chat. Man, that's expensive. Holy. Or should we get a case? Or should we just get the old Volvo here? That'll probably be good enough. Yeah, it's cheap. It's the affordable version. And we can afford it, too. If I spend cash money. Need a nice big bucket. That holds 2,400 liters. Not bad. I can't afford the other one. Yeah, we'll go with the old one. 45 grand. Definitely taking this one. We fast forwarded a month. I can't wear the same clothes. That's gross. Gotta change. Although it could have been put through the wash. What the heck's that shirt? I don't even know what that is. Let's wear a Bigfoot shirt. There we go. We got a Bigfoot doesn't believe in you either shirt. <laughs> and uh, we'll put a Scooter's workbench hat on. How's that? Represent Scooty Pooty. Some work gloves on. Throw on some boots. Cowboy boots. There we go. There we go. Looking fresh. All right, so we're gonna dip into the ag bag here. There we go. So that's uh, 1.1 tons. So about a ton of silage in one bucket. which is 2,381 pounds of silage. Much better. It's so about three, three to four scoops will be uh, good on silage. Center point irrigation on this map? Yes. Uh, did you know their helicopter flying in the sky in no man's land is a you actually, I know. I used to love looking up when it flew over. That was that was a nice little add-on by Alien Jim. Old Alien Jim. Oh, that silage in the silo is ready too. There's so much silage in that taco there. That big old burrito. Uh, episode two, we did, I don't know how many loads of uh, chaff. There's chaff. It was corn chaff and it fermented into silage. Let's see how much is in here. 173,000 liters in that big burrito there. Plus we have this. Should be done. Oh, 80%. It's not ready. Still got 20% to go. Road apples. Oh, yeah. I did leave the same pants on. Put some different jeans on. We'll put our, our light blue jeans on. <laughs> there we go. Looking fly. <laughs> Am 
my light blue jeans and my Bigfoot shirt and my Scooty Pooty hat. <laughs> Alt P is a faster shortcut to the character editor. Uh-huh. Alt P. I don't know, that might make my game crash. But yeah, you're right, Alt P. Keep an eye on this dump here. 30, all right. Next scoop is gonna be just a partial scoop. Gonna tip it slowly till we hit 40%, all right. Nice and easy. Right about there. Very nice. All right, cool. So we got the silage. Now we got to add some hay. Kevin Flores, thank you for the $10 super chat. This is Frosty. The neighbors also have a pool, and they're making a lot of noise. Should I call the cops because they are interrupting my Big Rig Frosty gaming stream? No. You should go over there and say Big Rig Frosty's on. Would you like to watch it with me in my pool? My pool has floating ducks. That's what I'd tell them if I were you. Then you could share the joy. You could make their little swimming outing that much more enjoyable. You know? Ooh, I have an idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. I have an idea. Since we have a little skid steer, I was thinking we could put a little ramp in. But that's if I can remember where the ramp is located. It's either in decorations or it's in uh, tools. Yeah, oh, there's one. It's a little steep. I don't want to block the uh, barn or the shed. I don't know if I like that one. I could sit it there. It's just for fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta try things out. I got this crap downloaded. I need to try it out every once in a while, you know? I've never used this ramp before. Let's see how she does. Oh, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be really nice. That's good enough. I think these are alfalfa bales we have sitting over here. All right, dry alfalfa windrows. So that's the equivalent of hay, I'm hoping. I hope. Good night, Jason, have a good one. <clears throat> Why would I do that to you, Frosty? Alt F4 is the bad one, yes. 
Uh, thank you, Wesley Bowman. Get get to sleep. Get to sleep. Now that's a great suggestion. Frosty pool party at Kevin's house. See, what's up, located? We got located three in the house. What's that, Mike? Just testing out new things here. Trying to make uh, smart choices. All right, let's keep an eye on the. Uh, Nah, it's not accepting these. The bail's not supported. I think we figured that out last time. These are only sellable. Or you can straight up feed them. Yeah, you can feed them through the thing over there. Ah. So that means... That sucks. <laughs> I don't have any hay bales over at this farm. It's all alfalfa, I think. Let me double check all these. Are these all alfalfa bales? Yep. Alfalfa, alfalfa, alfalfa. E. Those are all alfalfa, alfalfa bales. Aren't you just little turd ball, huh? We'll be right back. We're going to go grab the uh, hay bales we made. All right. Ooh. Uh, alfalfa fields growing back. <clears throat> Slowly. Stage two of th three. So I think you can feed the cows straight up alfalfa bales on this map, just as hay. But you can't mix it with TMR. And I forgot about that. We're pretty much going to load up the ones we dropped in here and bring them over to the other farm. Wait a minute, what am I doing right now? TMR needs to be made at this farm. I got dairy. Yeah, the dairy cows are, uh, nope. Okay, Angus cows are over here. I am so confused. Yeah, I feed these guys just straight up hay. And I feed the other, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, what's up, Jessica? How's Jessica doing? You should have planted that big field in grass and then made hay to feed the cows. I got hay right here. We got plenty of hay. Everything gonna be all right. Yeah, we got hay right up in here. Ugh. I didn't really want those two on the top. That's all right. All right, let's get this taken over to the other farm. Are you ever going to harvest all these trees, mow the grass, and then plow through? No. If I could get a shout out, it would make my day amazing. Farm kid, you better watch your mouth. How you doing? Uh, good evening, Scott Brown. Good evening, Frosty and Chatty says, Hello, Rhett Acres cruising and gaming. How long has Rhett been in here? Have you been hiding the whole time? I, I haven't seen your chats. Have you really been here all night? No. You haven't been here all night, have you? I'm gonna drop these right here. Let's grab stankin' high bale. We'll grab two. 
All right, that's straight up hay. 2,700 pounds of it. <laughs> he been hiding the whole stream. Yeah, have you not been talking much? You must not been talking much. I haven't seen your chats. You must be focusing. There we go. Let's get that up to 80%. Very nice. Perfect. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think I got dairy cows. Yeah, see, all the dairy cows are over here. I don't even know if there's a place to get milk over here. I'm so confused on this map. I forget. It's been too long since we played on it. Is there a darn milk trigger for me to get my milk? I don't even know if we can get milk out of these cows. See here. Let me see right here. Yeah, I don't see no milk. <laughs> oh my goodness. No milk out of those ones. No milk out of either. Okay, so these are all cows that we're just going to sell. And for that reason, we're going to do allow overcrowding. No dairy cows. All right, cool. So if we do run out of TMR, no biggie. We can just feed him hay. Howdy, Faust. What's up, Kevin Flores? Welcome to the show. Uh, what's up, Simulation Station? I was just talking about you earlier. We were talking about uh, golf, the PGA game, the newer one. And I know you did one or two streams of it. And we were we were talk I was trying to find out if it if anybody thought it was good or not because I played it and I wasn't too uh I don't know something about it didn't feel right to me compared to the uh, other EA golf titles so, oh, I don't know but I was telling I forget who I was telling I said go watch simulation station he made a video or two and played some golf on the the new game. Up the elevator we go. Oop. The ramp works. That's a good thing. And that should fill this bad boy up. You are amazing. I told you earlier in stream about my PC power supply blue. Think I could get a nice game PC for five thousand? If I, can. I would hope you could get something good for five thousand. Yes, you can get something beyond good. Woo! Yeah, five five K is. Yes, that'll. Yeah, you'll be fine. If you want to spend less, you can and get a nice one, but that's up to you. If you if you're set on spending the five grand, I, I understand. Definitely don't need to for a nice PC. All right, you know what? I don't have time for being stuck on there. There we go. <laughs> All right, how's this thing dump? We're gonna dump on the left side. Gonna get them uh, some fresh, total mixed ration. Uh, that ramp is steep. I enjoyed it. I suck at it, but hey, it feels just like playing in real life. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I don't know what was going on. And something else with the graphics. They were beautiful, but like the color was washed out. And I tried in the settings to get it. I don't know. It had like a washed out look to it. I don't know if something was wrong on my end or what. really full yeah I think we topped them off we still got lots left over so let's head down and fill the other cows up let's 
still got plenty in the trailer. I've never gotten a shout out before. Well, there you go. You got one now. There you go. Great stream, Frosty. Have a good rest of the stream and good night, Frosty and chat. David Turville, get your butt out of here. Get some good sleep, Daddy. Just got me a Vermeer stand-up mini skid steer to make the feeding and crap picking up easier. A Vermeer stand-up mini skid steer. Really? You talking real life? I need to look up what that even looks like. That sounds interesting. A stand-up skid steer. I reckon that would be quite lovely. Alright, we'll load up these chunker butts. Alright, they were a little more hungry. They were hungry, uh. Ooh, look at their heap of manure. Nice. All right, we even got leftovers. Good stuff. Let's uh, clean up some manure here. Get your butt out of here, farm kid. Good night. You got your shout out. He got what he wanted. Now he's going to bed. Like he said my name. I'm going to bed. Indeed. Also an FS22 sent you a screenshot. Wow, well, stop sending me screenshots. Just put it in the picture section. Mod link, but it's mod network, not king mods. It might, I don't know. FS20 screenshot if you want. I can send me a link. Indeed also. So. Sorry, I got to go to bed. And great man, oh man, I just glanced at the clock and thought it was five till four in the morning. Joe, <laughs> better relax. I'm gonna bust your nipple out. You're gonna pull your nipple muscle. All right, we got a lot of manure in here. Nice. We might need to upgrade our uh, scooper. Something I can hold a little more, eh? Because that is going to take a while. I'm all about getting things done a little faster since we're, you know, live streaming. I like to not take forever on one thing like we did on the uh, mulching of that one field. That took quite some time. So let's see what options we have here. For a uh, front loader attachment tool. Something that can haul a little more poo, if you know what I'm saying. If we only... Alright, universal bucket. No thanks. That's the one we have. It only holds a thousand. We can do better than that. 750. Up to 2.5 on that. 2.5, 2.5. 2.5's not bad. A thousand. 1250. 2.5's the winner so far. 1250. That's for beets, stones. <laughs> Might be the winner on here. No, see? No. All right, so we're going to go get... Ow, that only does 1.5, you kidding me? That's still more than the other one. Yeah, the other one did a thousand. Uh 
at least we can hold a little more now. Yeah. Almost double. It'd be more realistic if we get an occasional crop circle every now and then. I have crop circles. There's two circular fields on this map, okay? A lot of crap. That was only one month. What did Duan say? He make fun of me? What did Duan say? Is that baby cow eating poop? Maybe. You know, young cows, their brains aren't fully developed. They might think that's, like, silage. But they'll find out quick that it's not. This is working nice. For close enough. Silly cows laying in its own poop. It's comfortable, all right? Especially on a hot summer day. It's nice and warm. Makes them feel safe. <laughs> What's Simulation Station doing? What, what are you awake so late for? You should be in bed, right? Turning into a late night owl. All right, perfectly clean. No more manure in sight. And quite a nice hefty load in there. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Straw. Uh, we'll see if they need any straw. Nah, they're good. I think I had straw sitting in it as time fast forwarded, so they... Uh, what is going on here? Yeah, we just top... No, we topped off the other ones. We topped off both. What is this? This is the starter lot? Yeah, that's the starter lot. So these guys. Yeah, they're fine on straw. They're fine on straw. Both of them are. The horsies are the ones that need straw. <clears throat> this tractor can barely handle this uh, mixer. Barely can handle it. Cool. Let's see if my wrapped bales are done. 44%, so they still got a ways to go. That's good. Right. 
But these guys could use some straw. I think we gotta shred the straw, don't we? For the horses. I don't think they'll take a solid bale. Eh. Find out real quick. What do they call shakes at Wendy's? Uh, if we want to get Frosty to 250, you gotta tickle it. Oh my goodness. Dangerous road here. People fly on it. No respect. nice if uh, we don't have to shred it. Yep. Nice. Alright, cool. Pass the test. We'll also uh, top the horses off with hay. Got a leftover bale here from last month. What, did, uh, what is Frosty's favorite part of a chicken or a turkey? <sighs> Growing up, it used to be a leg, like as a kid. But now, I like... I like the breast. I like a big chunk of meat right there. Pretty good. But yeah, growing up, it was always the chicken leg. So they should be topped off on food. And uh, there wasn't much left of that straw bale. We'll run over across the street and grab a big bale. Maybe two, if we can fit two on there. T-bone crossing the street. <laughs> I've tried most horse barns. You don't need to shred for that one. I like it. I should be able to grab a full bale here. I like how we can still pick up with the manure fork. <laughs> Since we're handling actual bales, let's switch attachments. Have a little more luck. I'm going to grab two bales. Johnny. I smacked Johnny. Very nice. When are you going to play a Survivor Series again? I don't know, James. Jeez. I don't know. No respect till they run into the business end of the poop forks. Huh. That's right. How does one get one of them honka tooters? You just gotta say it real nice. How's that? How's that? How's that? You like that? There you go. 
All right, bunch of straw here. This should be enough to uh, top them off completely. I think this tractor fits in the entire barn. It didn't. I thought it was gonna smack the roof, but it just clears it. Look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, that's it. Look at that straw. Oh, 3,200 liters. Yeah, they're done. So they're good. Health is fine, I guess. Fitness is good. Cleanliness is good. Daily riding, not so good. But I don't have time to ride horses, no. 13-month-old horses. They're worth about sixteen to $1,400. So now that I have allow overcrowding on, cows are going to multiply. But... It sells the, uh, whatever the stall holds. Anything over that, I think, is what it sells after each month. I think. I can't remember if that's how that works. But, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Might as well just leave these sitting in here, huh? as well. So as time fast forwards, it'll have all kinds of uh, straw already sitting there. <laughs> nice. Cool. My grass has grown back. This field has nothing in it. And then this corn still has another month to go before it's ready to harvest harvest. So, yeah. I'm just going to kind of leave that go for a while. Uh, do you know who made that tractor? I do, but I don't remember. That help you out? <laughs> No, I don't remember. I, 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 I don't remember. I can see the name. L, it's L, just look up LT85. Agco LT85. Um, and it should pop up. I can't remember. JCL? That ain't JCL, is it, chat? Is that JCL that made that tractor I was just in? What's up, Russ Curry? What's going on, man? If I came out to visit, would you make me a bowl of brown? I wouldn't even open the door. Uh, I'm kind of missing Survivor Series. I think you are, because you asked a few times about it. You plan on playing hardcore like all the hard settings? Yeah, I've done it before. I don't know if I want to do it again, though. Where's the warehouse going on? It ain't going anywhere on this map. No warehousing. No warehousing. All right, I just need to clean up my mess here. And that's probably going to do it. Kevin Flores, thank you for another $20 super chat. You need to stop it. Stop it. He says, what would be your favorite Christmas present now at your age? I told my wife I'd like an air compressor. <laughs> I'm tired of using the hand pump for uh, filling up all the bike tires and my son's got the, the dirt bike uh, and then the bike tires and the golf cart tires and any tire, anything that needs air. I'd like a little air compressor. Nothing crazy. I don't even, just a small one that you just plug in and pfft. So yeah, that's my big Christmas present I want from uh, Miss Frosty is an air compressor. Pretty, pretty radical, huh? All right, straw bedding, I believe, goes right here. We just kind of drop them in this zone. <laughs> uh, what else did he say? Did you watch the White Marlin open? No. What's that? It was in Ocean City, Maryland. Dude caught a 640-pound marlin. $6.2 million prize. I just killed a cicada with a saddle on it. How much you think the cicada was worth? 
Can you imagine? Catching a fish worth... He got that much money for catching that fish? All right, is the straw filled here? Oh yeah, it's filled. All right, took care of that. Only 7% left. We'll just sit this right here. I wonder how big that manure pile will get. That's like a huge area. I could have like a mountain of crap. That's nice. That's pretty good. Cool. So mixing can actually take place at either farm. Doesn't really matter. Go. These are kind of leftovers. Is that spread cow pod PC only? This whole map's PC only. MRG mapping. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I just looked and it was JMF. What did I say? JCL? Thank you. JMF. I knew it was started with a J. JMF makes the Agco LT85. That's the that tractor sitting under the shed there. JMF. And that is a PC only tractor. A lot of the stuff on this setup is PC only. There's some mod hub stuff sitting around here. It's not much. All right, I'm not going to unload this. I'm just going to leave it on here. Keep it in here where it's dry. I gotta remember the alfalfa wind road bales are only only good to straight feed the cows. That you can't use them to mix. I don't even know if you can feed them the wind row bales. I'll have to try that next time. Because if not, we got to sell all those for profit. Which is also fine. I kind of want to top this off before we end the show. We'll take some uh, crap out of the other pen. And get a full load of manure. I'm kind of missing... What did Kevin say? Cicada was worth my life. Yes, he won with the largest caught catch. Remember, though, most of the boats are between 200 grand and north of 10 million. All the boats they have. <clears throat> That's crazy. A $6.7 million prize. Pretty amazing. Oh, like, the cows love, like, playing on the poop piles. No matter what map I'm on, it seems like they're attracted to the, the manure pile. I'm gonna dump this. Really? Let's get a full load here. I don't think we can empty it into the thing, so I'll just put the leftovers right in this little commodity bunker, I guess you could call it. <clears throat> there you go. We'll just pretend that little batch had some rats in it, and we don't want to feed that to the cows. That's the rat pile. 
All right, let's go get some fresh manure. Mike Heath coming in with the two-month anniversary. Jack Wacker level one says, love watching the streams while plat FS22 myself while playing. Uh, currently planting with my 9RT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If anybody wondered what a NRT or a 9RT is, I'll show you. He's planting fields with one of these bad daddies. Right. That's the one with the tracks. That's 8RT. 9RT is the big mama. I think that's the four, the quads, right? There she is. There's a 9R. Were you doing the wheels or the tracks? 9RT. Yeah, he's running one of these, chat. So Mike Heath is watching while planting with one of these bad boys. Up to 517 horsepower. He's probably working on a much uh, bigger field than we are. Or was or had. I don't know. That field's big. That one we uh, cultivated tonight was stinking large. 37 acres. Watch out. Watch out, Dorothy. Might have some leftover manure. Nice. Come on. Smash the GMC. I'm spreading manure with a 4020. Nice. An NR NRT is a two track. Yeah, I saw a nine. Yeah. The nine R is the without the T is without the tracks. Just a little smidgen more. We've got a full load of crap right there. Oh, Dorothy and her daughter. Like no more poop pile to play on. Need to go find a new place. To Wouldn't it be nice if, like, the regular, like, all the regular pickup trucks on Farm Sim, you could dump stuff in it? Like, a lot of them you can't. There you go. Full load. All right, we'll leave that right here for the cows to play on. Stuff. 24,000 pounds of manure in the back of this trailer. Not too shabby. Ah, it's gonna do that, huh? Must be a... Something block... Yeah, that's an invisible... Something's blocking me from getting out. Visible object. There you go. Beautiful. Downright radiant. Alright, so next time, whenever we do this map again, uh, we'll have a full load of crap to spread. And that'll be pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? Alright, chat. I think that's enough for tonight on uh, Little Mountain, Utah. I hope you did enjoy the show. It was, it was pretty fun uh, creating some fields. Uh, John McKinley talked me into that. He's like, why don't you get creative and turn that big field into a bunch of fields? And that's exactly what we did. We turned that into uh, four different fields. So we got a dog leg here. And then we just got a nice little rectangle field. 
then made me a little donut field with a little island in between and then just a small little field back here in the rear so that was all one massive square so that actually is a little more uh, satisfying to the eyes in my opinion I like it Thank you for the recommendation there, Mr. McKinley. It looks quite splendid, if I do say so myself. Not too shabby. Yeah, it's fun. A little more relaxed uh, stream. Not a whole lot of productions. Just a plain old, good old-fashioned farming type of map. And that's by MRG Mapping. Go check them out. FSMakers.com. Now, that's where you can find anything he's ever made for uh, FS22. You will be delighted. He's got some good stuff. Ashton Corners might be one of my top maps of all time. I love Ashton Corners. And he's the uh, same guy who makes that. So, go check it out. Uh, thank you, Quadruple A, Polecat704, Tony, Mardix. Is good night, Frosty. It was good to watch your whole stream. It was nice having you here the whole time. Uh, good night, Red Acres. Uh, I'm spreading manure with a field boss. I've done that. I've done that. Good tractor. Peace out, Frosty. It's been fun to see. All right, Solar. Peace out, Joe Coleman, Ryan Baltz. Everybody, have a good one. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow for sure, unless I get sick, which I feel pretty good. So I think it should be all right. Yeah, that'll be about 8.30 p.m. Eastern as usual. All right. So catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for breaking 200 reactions. What did we end with, chat? How many how many likes did we get for the entire stream? We also got three new members, and thank you to all who sent the super chats, especially Kevin Flores. He spent like one, two, three, four, four different super chats from uh, Kevin Flores. Thank you for the uh, hardcore support, Daddy. Scooty, have a good one. Located three, good night, Duan Baker, John Williams, Mac Morrison, Abraham Mandez, Jim Petty. Sounds like a NASCAR lineup. We got Jim Petty, Leonard Hickey, Mac Morrison, and Duan Baker covering the first two uh, sections of the NASCAR lineup tonight. <laughs> 245, nice. It's not bad. Thank you guys. Appreciate you all. We'll catch you on the next one. Keep an eye on the community tab. I'll probably post a photo and what I'm doing tomorrow night, sometime tomorrow afternoon. All right. Have a great one. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Happy farming. Goodbye. <laughs>